first of all, tell us a little bit about that second last uh, uh, jump, a little rattling noise. Uh, take us through what happened. Well, I wanted to be super competitive tonight. He's not the fastest, and our track record is to be third, fourth. He was third in the Grand Prix on Saturday. I have a lot of seconds, but I don't have a lot of wins. The first group that went went clean, but quite slow. So I was like, okay, I can go a little bit faster, but if I'm slow with one down, that's yeah. not going to get me anywhere. So when it was shaking, all I kept thinking was, I have to do 11 strides to the last jump, so I better <laughs> kick on and see how it goes. You almost want to block your ears. Don't, don't a little bit. The noise. A little bit. Do you have a preference in a jump off? Whether would, do you prefer to go early, do you prefer maybe to go late when you know what you have to do? Where, where's the? What, what do you like the best for a jump off? The later you go in the jump off, the more advantage you have, yeah. because you can make smarter choices. If you have to go at the beginning, you have to jump clean and you have to be fast enough. But maybe you don't cut too many corners because. You don't want to knock anything down, but I did have some bullets behind me. I'd say I was holding my breath when Ben went. <laughs> yes, I bet. Ali, tell me a little bit about, was, was there any point during the, your ride where you were concerned? Obviously, you went clean, but any point in which you were concerned? Um, in the jump off, I, I pulled a bit to the first jump, and I heard, heard my horse hit it. I thought I had the first jump down. And then when I came around, I saw that, that it was still up, so then I kept kicking on a bit. But, um, I mean, everywhere is a bit, of, a bit of a concern, especially since I pulled to the bottom of the triple bar in the last jump off and made her land in it. And so um, I whipped her on the shoulder this time for no reason, but <laughs> yeah. but she's pretty amazing. So as long as I can stay consistent, she's good. When, when you looked at the course going into, into the jump off, was there one area of concern that you had before you started? Um, a little bit of everything, like not, I mean, maybe the inside to the pink, I was a little worried, um, not worried, but just that angle, I wasn't sure if she was going to know where she was going. Um, and then also the triple bar, because I've forgotten how to ride it in the past few days. And <laughs> But no, yeah. Well, congratulations. John, Is it getting back to the thing about when you go into a jump off and the condition, obviously they, they, they do some conditioning of, the, of the, the ground as well. Do you have a preference where you start? Again, it's always, it, it's good to go late in a jump off again, because you know what you have to beat. And, uh, um, but then again, sometimes the advantage is the early one, because if you can lay down a blistering time in the beginning of a jump off, everybody's got to run and catch you. And uh, then they risk having the rail. Uh, I, I was happy with my horse. I, I wasn't happy with myself because I just kept pulling on the reins. And you don't win jump offs pulling on the reins. You yeah. win jump offs by galloping and letting go of the reins. But uh, I just wasn't catching them all the way I wanted to uh, in this one. But hey, he jumped clean. So we ended up with a good piece. What was your what was your strategy going in? Well, I, I mean, jump off. I, yeah, I just you know the one ahead of me. I just you know I wanted to beat the time there, and uh, you know I, so I did the inside cut, and uh, but I added a step to the triple bar. I added a step to the one on the top, and I for sure added a step to the to the last one. And you know these girls were laying it down, and uh, that's why they are sitting there, and I'm sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> well, the lady the ladies stood uh, raised their game. Uh, as we head into the weekend, we've got a lot of people who've got a lot of momentum heading into this weekend, don't we? Yeah, I think this, I mean, the weekend is going to be great. I mean, it's what this tournament's all about, uh, the Longines FEI, you know, World Cup qualifier. And, uh, you know, that's what we've been anticipating all year uh, for us. Uh, it's our first uh, World Cup uh, hosting uh, in, in, um, in Rocky Mountain Show Jumping's history. So uh, we're excited about it, and uh, we hope we get a, you know, a little bit more uh, butts in the seats. But... Uh, uh, it's going to be a great competition. Well, congratulations to everybody, and thanks very much, and we'll see you on Friday. Thank you. Thank you.